taking a big brush first of all and you're going to want to make sure you've got plenty of kitchen mould for this because it's going to get very wet so just get some kitchen mould to hand so i've got a nice big brush that i'm just going to slosh a load of water on i have stretched this paper by the way so this is um on a on a board and i've stretched it all the way around the edge uh, because obviously I knew I was going to do this very wet and I wanted to keep it flat and stretching it really is the only way you're going to keep it completely flat well I mean if blocks are not bad but <clears throat> even on blocks if you get it really really wet it sometimes does move a little bit okay so plenty of water all over and I've got the board tilted very very slightly so it's probably about five degrees tilt on the board. There we go. I might even have to put a bit more water on there as we go along if it dries out. So it's quite warm, quite humid in here. All right, let's get rid of that big brush. Don't need that for a minute. So now I'm going to get some paint and I'm going to use some cerulean blue, trusty old cerulean. And I'm going to mix into that some uh, English red or if you don't have English red then you can use some burnt sienna or something of that nature so just mix those two colors together and I should and I get kind of a gray sort of brown bluey brown kind of color and I want a fair amount of this because there's quite a lot of quite a lot of sky so I'm just mixing up a nice quantity of that And then I'm going to start this at the top. Make sure it's properly mixed. And I'm going to start in at the top, and away we go. And let it bleed. A bit more paint in there. A bit more blue. A bit more red. So it's going to split a little bit on me, which is quite nice. That's what I'm after. A little bit of splitting. More blue. So we keep loading this up really nice and strong. And I'm going to start to bring that down a bit. Till I want to, um, so I want this left hand side to be a little bit cloudier than the right hand side. <coughs> Leave a few little gaps in there. This brush seems to be depositing hairs everywhere. That's probably enough there. Just gonna give that a spray now, just to get it moving. Just to almost give the impression of, I don't know, like rain or um some movement in that sky let's just see how that's going to separate it's going to drop to a slightly smaller brush now it needs a bit more red in it it's wrong, wrong pan more blue Pop a bit more colour in at the top. Make it a bit darker. So just working into this existing wash and obviously I'm using thicker paint here than I went in with originally to make sure that it doesn't cauliflower too much. Get a bit more darkness on this side. Come down a bit lower. A bit more blue. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to give that a little spray. Just to get it moving a bit more. There we go, starting to come down a bit now. A nice broody sky. Okay, I'm gonna wash that brush off now. So, just let that run down a little bit further. Take off some of this excess water. Now then, whilst that's still fairly, fairly wet, I'm going to take a pipette or if you've got, I've got a little syringe here, but if you don't have a syringe, you could use um, a pipette like this, or you could use, um, you could actually just have a little cup of, with a little um, spout on it and just pour the water on. This is just so I can control the water pour. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to wash out a section of this and I'm actually going to turn it slightly this way while I do this. So I want my very, very light section to kind of start from about here and I'm going to run in some water and get the water started, that is. Oops. So I'm going to run in some water all the way through to wash out a section. Got another one here. So it's very, very light here. Let's just wash all that out. Get a bit more water in there. Stuart, what do we use if we haven't got pipette? Just pour on the water with a little jug. Oh, okay. So it's got a spout on it, so or not a spout, but so it's got a um, something you Direction. can control where the water's going. Yeah, okay. And then just pour it on, all right? Okay. Let's just wash that right out. And as I said, it's going to be pretty wet, so okay. you might want to make sure you've got a towel or something to soak it up. Okay, so that's getting a nice bit of light through there now. So let's just do that one more time maybe behind the funnel here a little bit. Just wash a bit more of that out. There we go. Okay, so let's just tip that a bit more and run most of that water away before I turn it back the right way. Just get some tissue. Just mop up some of this excess. <clears throat> right, and then I'm going to lay it fairly flat now so that it doesn't run too far downwards. There we go. Stuart, yes. Question, please. What's what's the difference? The difference. Sorry, Spike. You broke up there. Say again. You there, Spike? Yeah. Well, I seem to be getting. Oh, I know what. Sorry, but you, you having two screens here. What's okay. the difference between putting it on and taking it off and not putting it on in the first place, please? 
So putting it on and then taking it off and then putting it on in the first place. Okay, so when you put it on and take it off, you see how it leaves all these lovely soft edges? Yeah. And there's no, there's no crispness anywhere. If you'd left it off, so say for example, I left that paper dry um, yeah. and I tried to do all this, I'd have an edge yeah where the where the dry patch was okay. and then you've got to try and get rid of that edge and that's incredibly difficult yeah right okay, okay. thank you so it's a, it's a way of just keeping it all very very soft yeah thank you right. <clears throat> okay now so that's starting to go off at the bottom a bit now so i'm going to get it some color on my water now so for that i'm going to use some um uh cerulean again and some lunar black or if you don't have lunar black then you can use um <clears throat> some paints gray or you can use neutral tint um or any of those colors would be fine so let's just mix this up more blue obviously at the moment than than the black because i want it to have a blue i do want it to be a bluish sea not totally mucky so fair amount of fair amount of paint there now and then i'm going to start to run this again i'm going to come underneath my water line and run that all the way across the um that section where the water is going to come in and let it just creep up a little bit get a bit more of that black in there uh, coming across just let it run down a bit more so I want it a little bit streaky because I want some variation in there I don't want it completely one tone because when we start to run some water through it I want it to break a little bit and and um, have a bit of interest so coming all the way through let's let that run out of the bottom there so now i'm going to load up some more water and in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some gum arabic and again if you don't have gum arabic you can just use um just more water really um the gum arabic is just gonna slow down some of this water when i flick it on so i'm just going to flick on some of this gum arabic in different places i want to lay that flat actually give it some direction so this just just straight out the out the bottle give it a bit of a flick not really trying to control it too much okay put that away so then i'm going to spin my board again oops just uh, oops Sorry about that. That was the wrong thing to undo without holding it. Just wipe up some of that excess. So I'm going to turn the board now 90 and lay it just on the top here. So there's a slight tilt again coming from top down. And then I'm going to take some water in my little uh, pipette thing again. Oops, not that one, that's The clean water. And then I'm just going to start to run this in in different places. Again, not really trying to control it too much, keeping it tilted.
so I keep it coming towards towards me as opposed to away from me. So I'll let that continue to run. A bit more over here, I think. Okay. More tissue. Mop some of that up. So while that's still nice and wet, I'm going to just drop in a couple, a bit more colour. If I can find my brush. So let's have some more cerulean. And again, the paint needs to be a fair bit thicker. Just drop some of this in. I'm just kind of trying to work with some of the marks that are already on the on the painting. I'm not actually trying to paint any particular waves or anything. Just want this blue to sort of work into what's already here. Have a little bit of the um, Luna Black as well mixed in there. Right. And then I think I will wash out a couple more little areas. So I think I want to get rid of or get some more wash out through here. It's a bit more along the back. The sort of horizon type area. Just let that run for a minute. Okay, right, just need to let us see what that's gonna do now. Just gonna give it a few moments to settle. It's one of those things you don't really want to play with too much. Otherwise you can lose the effect. So let's just wipe up some of the excess water. Still very wet down the bottom here. Most of it's not too bad. All right, let's see what we've got. Tilt that down a little bit. 
don't know if the glare is too bad on the screen. Hopefully not. Okay. So, gonna get a little bit of rundown on there, but I don't think that's too much of an issue. Might just give that a quick uh, blast with a hairdryer before I go on and do the next, start to get the next bit in. Right, so that's now dry. It's amazing how um, some of the effects just kind of disappear once it's dried. But never mind, we might have to put some more of those back in later. Okay, cleaning off my brushes. Seems to have dirtied all my water, as usual. So I think the next thing to do then will be to um, look to get the uh, starting of the building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start to get some of this um, building line in. We'll probably leave the uh, the smoky effect to the end once we've obviously established where our um, uh, main chimneys and so on were going to come in. Um, so that'll be the next thing to do. <coughs> so let me just mix up a colour for that. I'm going to put this in a bit lighter to start off with and obviously it's going to still be within the grey spectrum but maybe we'll have it slightly warmer. So I'm going to use the cerulean again and the same red, the Englishy red colour because that will hopefully give me a nice splitting. And I might even put a little bit of black in there, the, the Daniel Smith black, just to get a um, bit of a warmish grey. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to wet because I want the chimneys to stay fairly soft. I'm going to put some water through. Um, the starting or the shape. So my chimney is going to start about here, coming down. Keep it fairly straight, it's a bit wobbly. More water. 
Let's just touch that in there just to keep it moist. Maybe we'll do this one as well. Coming down. And obviously then it goes into this sort of dark shape now. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this whole thing wet and wet in one go because as soon as I get over here all of this is going to be drying out too much so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in sections and then just wash out the edges and then kind of move along so for that I'm going to take my my gray I'm going to touch it in at the top of the the chimney stack let it run down pull it up a little bit higher let it come all the way down the chimney uh, the um, the stack Get a little bit more brown in there or the red in there and then run that through the bottom edge of the shape take a bigger brush with water on it and then I'm going to soften off the bottom, just put some water through there to keep it very soft. Keep it soft over here whilst we're um don't have the time at the moment to do the whole section, so I'm just gonna wash that out to nothing with clean water actually. Just use clean water just to um wash that away. It's got paint on the brush it's not very clean let's just mop that up and do the same on this side just mop it up so it just basically evaporates to nothing and then i'm at liberty then to you know finesse any little edges here before i move on to the next section so um i'm going to do the same thing again so let's just wet the next chimney. So I'm going to carry on down this left hand side first. So he kind of comes in from about there. And you don't have to do this left and right handed, by the way. You can just put the brush down and pick up a brush. Although it is incredibly handy to be able to do it left and right. Um, a couple more little stacks here. break that up a bit and then oh, we need three ends actually need one for water one for painting with and the other one to mop up so we've got a bit more water in the stack